If you love classic acoustic 90s music, then you're gonna absolutely love this song, Linger by The Cranberries. There's a really cool intro, some cool picking patterns I'm gonna show you, as well as a nice strumming pattern. Let's get into it. So first things first, let's go over the chords we're going to be using. I'm gonna be using more of my stuck like glue chords. So because this song has a brighter sound to it, I really wanna get those brighter tones on the top. Now, as a caveat, there are a couple different guitar parts, right? There's some layering going on in this song. So we're kind of just picking out one of those guitars to play. So I have my G chord, my four finger G chord, and then we have our C add nine chord. Okay, we have a D chord. Now that I'm playing regular. I'm not, I'm not playing the D sus form, just playing a regular D chord here. And then we have an A chord, as well as an A6 chord. Okay, so if you notice what I'm doing, and this is how, you know, if you can play it this way, I know those A chords are tricky. I use fingers one, two, and three. And then I use my pinky to get that extra note that we need for that A6 chord. Now, could you try and bar it? You could, I find that difficult because I have smaller hands, um, which is why I'm able to fit four fingers in that second fret, but I know for some people that's difficult. So maybe you can do, maybe you can do it with two fingers because you got big hands. Whatever works for you, figure that out. And those are the chords you're gonna be using for this song. Now the song starts with picking and ends with picking. So I'm gonna start with the intro first and show you what we're gonna be doing here. Basically we're playing a D chord. Okay, the bottom three notes of a D chord, but it starts with that G string open. And the timing of this is gonna be one and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. And it's gonna sound like this, and then I'll show you what we're doing. Such a nice sound. It just brings a smile to my face. I love that. It is so great. Okay, so I told you we're starting with a D chord here, okay? And we're lifting up that first finger. So I would make the D chord lift this first finger because you're kind of just gonna be doing up and down with your first finger here, okay? And we're gonna play each pattern four times. So it's gonna be one and two, three and four, one and two, three and four, and then pattern two. One and two, three and four, one and two, and for the picking, I would do all down picks on this. Down, 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 down. So this intro goes back and forth four and a half times. So you're gonna do that full pattern four times and then we're gonna end on that open string. And the song kind of changes tempo at this point. Um, and we're gonna jump into that A and A6 chord strumming. But before I do that, let's just do a full playthrough with just these two intro parts. All right, let's try it for the top. And if you need the notes for this song, you can go onto my website, laurenbateman.com, and you can follow along there. Okay, I'm gonna count us in. It's gonna be ready, one and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. Now at this point, we jump right into some strumming and this is gonna be a split measure strumming pattern, meaning we're gonna be playing one chord for the first half of the pattern and the second half, we're gonna play a different chord. Fortunately, it's just going from A6 to A. Okay, now, could you just play the A6 chord and hold on to it? Absolutely. So when you go look at the chord chart that's on my website, wherever you see an A6 chord, you have the option of doing this split measure strumming pattern, or just ignore the A chord and just stick with the A6 if you wanna make it simple. So let's talk about the foundation of the rhythm first, and then I'm gonna show you where these changes happen. So this is gonna be a 16th note rhythm pattern. 16th notes, we're gonna be counting 
1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e and a 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e and a. Those are 16th note patterns. So this strumming pattern, the first half is 1 and a 2e and. Okay, 1 and a 2e and. Played as down, down, up, down, up, down. So let's just take an A chord. Let's take the A chord. So we're going to do 1 and a 2e and. Okay, down, down, up. Down, up, down. And in time, that would be. Ooh. One and a two E and. Okay, so it's down, down, up, down, up, down. Again. Down, down, up, down, up, down. Again. One more time. Okay, so that's the first half of the strumming pattern. Now, the second half of the strumming pattern is a lot more 60 notes. So it's going to be E and a, four and a. Oh dear. So it's up, down, up, down, down, up. So the second half of that pattern is going to be up, down, up, down, down, up. One more time. Up, down, up, down. So if I put both of these halves together, so that's what I would do, practice them separately first, and then we're going to put them together. So it's going to be one and a two E and, E and a four and a one and a two E and, E and a four and a, and I tell students, let's put the pick down for a second. When we're working on these intricate strumming patterns, just try and clap the rhythm first, or even sing it. If you can sing it, you can usually play it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to tap our guitar. Okay, so sometimes if you can tap out the rhythm, it's easier to play. If you can sing the rhythm, it's easier to play. All right, so it's one and a two E and, E and a four E and, one and a two E and, E and a four E and, one and a two E and, E and a four E and, one and a two E and, E and a four E and. Now we pick our pick back up. And we take that strumming pattern. So if you need to pause the video to practice that, go right ahead. If you feel like you've got a good feel for what we're doing, let's move on to this chord switch. So we're starting off on the A6 chord. Okay, do you hear that? So when we get to the and after the two, it's going to be one and a two E and. We switch to A on that and. All right, and then you just stay on the A chord. is the rest of the intro part when the violin stuff starts coming in and the other instrumentation. So you're going to do that A6 to A chord uh, for four times and then we have a G chord on the end that we're going to play twice, same strumming pattern. Which brings us right into our beautiful verse. Let's talk about the chord progression we're going to be using here. So the great thing about this song is once we get into the verse and the choruses, our chord progression gets very repetitive. And we're playing each chord twice, which is really nice. Now we have our D chord that we're going to play twice. We have our A6 chord and you can stay on the A6 chord or you can do the lifted A6 to A chord if you want to. You don't have to, but that is an option. And if you listen to the record, you will hear it come in. We also have that C add nine chord twice and then a G chord twice. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that strumming pattern we just learned and we're going to apply it over the verse and the chorus so that you guys can get a feel for it. But don't go away just yet because there's still one more picking part I have to show you how to do on the outro. But first, let's take a look at the strumming with the lyrics. All right, so I'm gonna play through a verse in a chorus here. I'm gonna take it from the second verse of the song, which is, I swore, I swore I could be true. One, two, ready, 
So you see, once you get in a groove with this rhythm, you can just use it for the entire song, which makes it very, very easy. But now I told you there is one more picking section, which kind of wraps up the entire song. And I really like this picking pattern. Very, very cool picking pattern. Unlike the first one where we're doing all down strums, there's some down and up here. And let me play it for you first, and then I'll explain it. Now what I'm doing here is I'm playing a D chord to start. And let's talk about the strings we're picking. We're going three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Now that's the tricky part because you have to skip over the second string. You have to go from three down to the bottom string. All right, so you may need to work on learning where your strings are here, but this is a really, really great little picking pattern. So again, it's gonna be the third string and then one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Okay, now what I would do once I get into this, the first part, I'm probably gonna go down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. And then when I start the next round, I would probably go up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up. Okay, so I'm gonna change my picking depending on which direction I'm moving. We call this directional picking. So I'm gonna pick in the direction I'm moving. So this first note, I'm moving down. So I'm gonna go down, down, and now I'm coming back up the strings. Up, up, down the strings. Up, up, down. Okay, so I'm going down, up, up, down, up, up, down. Okay, so that's what we're doing on this D chord. And then you're doing the same exact thing, just lifting up your first finger. So we've got the third string, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Back to the D chord. Now if you want more 90s classics that have cool strumming and picking, then I highly recommend you go check out my Alanis Morissette ironic video. Really great strumming pattern, cool picking technique. Go click on that video right now.